Hi, my name's Martin Cole. I work for PG Ricks Farms here at Lodge Farm. I've been working for PG Ricks for 35 years now and I've been spraying for about 42, 43 years. I've now had, this is my ninth sands I'm on at the moment, the uh, Horizon, and I've had virtually everyone they've made from a 2.5 to a 2,000 low line and 3,000s and you name it, we've had it. There's really no comparison. The, the Horizon is a completely different sprayer altogether, computerised system and every nozzle shuts itself on and off. You virtually don't have to do anything it's, and it's so comfortable and quiet to drive. It's a dream machine to drive, it really is. Yeah, it's all, it's all run through the, through the touch screen, RTK. Um, you just do an A to B straight line, which is quite simple. And, um, and then the satellites take over and away you go. You can't go wrong. Yeah, servicing has, has uh, come on a long way to what it used to be. We used to have to climb up behind the engines and, and uh, really get a dirty job to get your hands dirty and get in there and get covered in oil. But now it's all the main engine oil is drained from a pipe underneath. And uh, especially on the horizon, it's, it's a dream. All the filters drain into a container down the side so you don't get diesel everywhere. And it's, it's just so much better to do all round. It's got magnificent brakes. If you're not careful, you'll go through the windscreen. It's so good on the foot brake which you need when you're doing 50k up the road. Um, the boom leavening is all done, all automatic, and it's so easy to set up. And just press, like say for most things, just press the button and away you go, and it rides so smooth, can't fault it. There's no comparison really. The, the first sands, you, you would get out of the cab and then realise that you hadn't got the pump in gear, so you get back in the cab and put the pump on and then you get round the back and then you can't lift the hopper down because the booms would be too far down so you'd have to go back in the cab and lift it all out and lift it up to get the hopper to come out so now it's all controlled from the back just press the button pump in and out up and down on the booms you pull your hopper down there's even a light on the back of the hopper so if, if it's the sort of early mornings or late at nights, you can do it with a light on, it's perfect. The cab comfort is, is uh, as good as a car. It's so quiet in this new horizon, it's unreal. And uh, the seat suspension, the air conditioning, which is climate control, and uh, you've got all the lights all around. We've got blue lights on the boom, so we can pick up all the nozzles in the dark. Compared with the first sands I had, which had no air conditioning. The seat was bolted to the hydraulic tank inside the cab, and that was very uncomfortable in those days. But yeah, she's come a long way. There's no uh, choice between the three. I would take the Horizon out every day. Yeah, visibility through the cab is like 360 all the way around. You can see over the top of the tank, you can see down each side, you can see to the boom, to all the way down to the last one which goes around the corner behind you and uh, visibility is pretty good compared to what it used to be and along the road with now doing 50k and you need to be able to see what's coming and where you're going but with the the camera on the back it really helps at junctions if somebody's up your behind and you need to drift back a bit no doubt how quiet it is it really is quiet with this new ad blue engine in it's really come a long way yeah the uh the lighting system on it is pretty good you can um, put all your lights on your visibility at night is good and then when you come out, out of row out of field gear into road gear you go into auto mode so the more you push the stick forward the more revs that will give you so it's like driving an automatic car Indicators are then transferred from the stick onto the buttons which um, would normally do your, your leveling. So if you want to turn right, you haven't got to take your hand off the stick at all, you just press the button. Yeah, the, um, the filtration system is, is really good on these new cabs. And even if the filter gets blocked, 
it still won't let any chemical come in the cab. So as, as you could probably see, I'm wearing shorts today for comfort in the cab. So you don't have to have your, your protective gear on all the time. It's really good. I wouldn't like to guess how many weeks I've been in there, but we spray virtually every month of the year now. Even in December, January, we do some occasional spraying, so it's an all year round job. But sort of summertime like now, it's really busy. We try not to do earlier than say seven o'clock in the morning and finish about seven at night with three sprayers we can cope but uh, some people tend to go all silly hours and there's no need for it buy another sprayer